Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you my thoughts regarding the Scuba Pro Mantis 2 dive computer. This is a watch size dive computer. It's very well made, very good materials. It's having a depth rating of 120 meters and is made in Indonesia. This dive computer is coming with a, another extension strap. I'll tell you very briefly regarding the menus because this you can find in the manual. How you can see around the bezel all the modes are displayed. We have four buttons, light, select and escape, plus or up button and minus or down button. For example, if we want to go in any mode, we press up button and first mode it will be the chronometer. We press select and the arrows start blinking indicating that this selection, uh, that this mode was selected. We press again up, we go in the sport menu, altitude menu, compass, dive planner. Another press, we go in the logbook, dive settings and watch settings. When I choose this dive computer, I was very impressed by the human factor diving using the skin temperature and the heart rate to adjust the algorithm while diving. This is made through a heart rate uh, monitor belt that can also read the skin temperature. While diving, I found the computer display really easy to read, even if it is a watch style dive computer. Also is having a CCR mode, gouge mode and free diving mode. Other accessories you can buy for this dive computer are the transmitter to connect your Mantis 2 with your uh, PC. You need to buy separate this cradle and to connect just push the M2 dive computer into the cradle. Now you can use the USB to connect to the PC or to your phone. Of course using an adapter, for example for uh, my phone I need a Type-C adapter. My wrist is not very big, but I find it that the computer it fits very well. is having a very nice look as a day-by-day -day watch. Now I will show you very fast some features that this computer has. For example, if you want to use the planner from the watch mode, just press up or down button till the arrow are indicating the plan around the bezel. We go to the plan, press select and now we are in planning mode. To access the logbook just press the up or down button till the arrows are indicating to log. Press select and you can see the last dive which I made. Press again select and you'll have the information as maximum depth, the time and the temperature at that depth. If you are pressing the light button, the screen it will illuminate and you can uh, choose how many seconds the light to stay on. Let me show you how it's working. Now you can see how the screen is looking in the dark. I set the light to stay on for 5 seconds. Now let me tell you what problems I had using the uh, M2. After 4 dives, when I was coming out from the water, 
I downloaded the dive profiles in my logbook and while I was going home I noticed that my button, the select button, select and escape button was missing. Without hitting the computer and I didn't notice when actually the button came out, I noticed after a while that the button was missing when I wanted to review my dives. I took the computer back to warranty and because I was working uh, abroad I took the computer back after uh, maybe 3 months or so. Again I was using the computer for another uh, 6 dives and after uh, the 6 dive the down button was not functioning anymore. At this time the button didn't came out, but while pressed the button was not responding. I sent again the computer in warranty and after another 3 months I took the computer back and from that moment I just had 2 short dives, how you can see at around 4 meters for 16 minutes and another dive at 6.6 .6 meters for 25 minutes at uh, 15 degrees Celsius in the water. For these two dives I didn't have any uh, issues anymore with the computer and really I hope that in the future uh, I will not need to go back to the service. Although I had the problems with the buttons, I love this dive computer and what it's capable of. And I really like the idea of human factor diving to adjust the algorithm. At the end of this video, you will find some pictures from my dives to have an idea how you can see the screen while diving. I made this video to help other divers to make an informed decision if they are thinking in buying the M2. And because I didn't find any review from someone who is actually using this dive computer. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to see other reviews with my diving equipment, which I'm actually using. Also check out my trailer video. See you next time. Thank you for watching.